All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here coming at you with another tutorial. Today we'll be covering the Melt modifier in 3ds Max. So I've started off here with a basic chamfer box of 60 by 60 by 60, 4 for the fillet, and length, width, and height segments of 6, and the fillet segments of 3. So let's go ahead to our modifier list here and add the Melt modifier. Now this is a pretty simple modifier. Um, the first section here, or the Melt amount, uh, basically specifies the decay of the object. So you can see as you increase it, your object kind of melts and you know it sort of spreads out. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and put this just at about 100 for now, just to get a good um, sort of midpoint. Now the spread of the melt specifies how far the sort of bottom portion of the axis spreads out. So as you increase that, you'll see your object sort of gets um, larger and then it gets smaller as it spreads out um, laterally as opposed to vertically. Now your solidity is sort of an interesting property. Let's go ahead and change it to custom so you can see exactly what happens. And We'll increase the melt a little bit here and we'll uh, decrease that just a bit. So you can see if we're at uh, 1, uh, the top here is basically flat. But as we increase this you can see a steeple start to form just like that. So this um, you know solidity property basically just determines sort of the relative height of the center of the object. You know, whereas jelly uh, substances tend to settle more, um, you know, a, a harder substance like glass uh, would kind of have this point up here that would remain. All right, and uh, your access to melt basically just determines what is the bottom, you know, what is the bottom melting point. So if you flip it, you'll see the top is now flat. Um, if you change it to Y, your Y axis is now flat and your X axis there. So this is a fairly easy uh, to work with modifier. And again, uh, all these uh, properties can be animated if you uh, want to do that. And so if you have a value of less than one also for the solidity, you can um, sort of create these sort of concave shapes uh, that you get like the, the center kind of falling out almost like a, a cheesecake or a, you know, something like that that just poof, falls in or maybe some bread that isn't fully baked. So uh, that's it for the melt modifier. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.